welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is sydney today's video is going to be all christmas baking and i am so excited you guys saw in my last video did a little bit of christmas baking when i was back home and we have to frost in those cookies today as well as do three other baked goods two of them are more cookies and the other one i'm doing some fun dipped pretzels so today is going to be all about baking um, I'm going to be linking all the recipes that I'm using down below so you guys can try out the recipes for yourself. Christmas baking is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, Christmas baking is definitely one of my favorites and I never really get a chance to do a whole lot of it. We'll usually do like cutout cookies, something simple, but this is the first year I'm doing like multiple different recipes um, and I'm just really excited. So. The plan for today is to just be baking this afternoon. It's about, it's 2.30 right now. I had to run to Target really quick to get some last minute ingredients that we didn't get last week. Um, so I picked those up so that I can start baking. And then tonight, actually, Kurt and I are going to be doing our little family Christmas night because we'll be with family over Christmas and we didn't want to bring like all of our presents over there and do like our little family present exchange so we're gonna do our little christmas here tonight so i'm gonna start with the first recipe which are thumbprint cookies i have my laptop here with me and i'm just going to be like referencing this instead of like doing it on my phone it's a lot easier that way so i've never made these but they looked really really good i saw delaney child and clayton made a vegan version of this so i'm just doing like the regular but they look super super yummy like i said i will be linking all the recipes down below so you can just check them out there but i thought today would just be fun to do a little bake with me so let's get all of the ingredients out salt, salt. so we've got butter sugar egg yolks vanilla salt flour and jam now i was looking for raspberry jam because i thought that'd be really good but i can't find raspberry jam literally anywhere i can only find like preserves which is different so i'm using strawberry jam it'll still be really really good i'm home and i know you asked so let me show you what i got i got this and it was a dollar <laughs> wonderful she says that i missed you so much do you want some Cabernet Stink? <laughs> Do you want some Cabernet Stink? Okay, we have all of the dough combined. It looks a little crumbly, but once you kind of form it into the like cookie dough balls, it is totally fine. So it says to use like a tablespoon and just kind of grab some dough. This is about the size you're gonna want. And then you just kind of start forming it into a ball. So you can see like now that I'm like rolling the dough together, it like forms a lot easier. And now what you want to do is roll it in some sugar, just a little bit. And there we go. And then I have it on this baking mat. We just got ours from Amazon. I can leave it linked down below. It's really helpful for baking, grilling, any of those activities so this is about the size you want i have small hands so it's kind of hard to tell but um i just use a tablespoon and that's kind of a good reference point and then again just keep rolling it in the sugar you don't want a whole lot because these aren't like sugar cookies but just enough for a little added texture and taste to it i've actually never made this type of cookie before but i know they're like really popular my grandma makes Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. I wonder if she has a different recipe. Probably. Are they good? Mm-hmm. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Snipping at your nose 
So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas Okay, the thumbprint cookies are all done. I just put a few of them on a plate here. I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar to the top of them, not too much, but just a little bit. Just adds a little bit of fun to the cookies. So, not too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna let them continue drying, but so far they look super, super cute. Okay, it is a little bit later now. I've got all the thumbprint cookies done. They're just finishing cooling. The gingerbread dough needs to set in the fridge for a little bit for like three hours or so, but I thought for right now we would get on to the dipped pretzels. Okay, so for dipped pretzels, we obviously have pretzel rods. You probably could use like normal pretzels, but these are the ones that I wanted to go with. We've got milk chocolate and white chocolate. The recipe that I looked at, um, it said you should use like bars of chocolate rather than like chocolate chips just because they melt a little bit smoother. So I did that. We've got some sprinkles. I'm going to make some homemade frosting with powdered sugar. Got some candy canes we can crush up. Something funny, I went to Target today to get these and a couple of other last minute things. This was the only pack of candy canes I had left. Like not even the classic red and white ones. So I'm really happy I found those. And then I also thought it'd be fun to do a white chocolate and Oreo mixture. So I got these um, to like crumble up and roll over. So that's kind of the plan. I feel like it's gonna be pretty simple. The main thing will just be kind of like reheating the chocolate. Um, but other than that, it should be really fun. So let's just get started. Okay, first things first, I'm going to um, mash all of, well not all of, but I'm gonna mash up some of the Oreos and then some of the candy canes so that they're ready to use as toppings. I got double stuff. Um, maybe that wasn't quite the way to go. We'll see. I'll add a couple more. Okay, that seems like a good amount. I did like a row and a half, I would say. So, next thing to do, make sure all your air is out. Seal it off as best as you can. And now we grab our rolling pin and just start crunching away. If you have kids, this would be like a super fun task for them to be in charge of. Okay, that seems pretty good. You don't want to overdo it so that it just turns into like dust, but you want to have some good chunks in there. So I'd say that looks pretty good. And then we'll do some of the candy canes. This might take a while because they are all individually wrapped, which is just wonderful. Chestnuts roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways we are attempting to take a little family picture right now. So I've got a light box set up, phone on a tripod, putting Ivy's matching pajamas on. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is 
I think a pretty good shot what we're looking at. back to the cookie baking it has been over three hours and the gingerbread dough is uh, ready to go so I'm gonna roll it out just like I did with all of the cutout cookies we've got gingerbread man some candy cane stockings some fun cutouts and yeah I've never actually made gingerbread cookies before actually I might have when I was little but it's been a while so hopefully I know what I'm doing yeah, let's just get started because it's already almost nine o'clock. Oh, it's, it is nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna get this done and we'll probably end up doing all of the frosting of the cookies tomorrow morning or early tomorrow afternoon. So I'll just continue the vlog then as well. So you guys can still see me frosting all the cookies. First things first, always gotta put the flour down. Oh, it's a little thick in the center, but that's okay. Aren't we all this time of year? <laughs> oh, these are so cute. show you I just packaged all of them up so these will be like the main tray that I am bringing um, these are some little goodies for grandparents that we are planning to just drop off on like their doorstep so that they can still enjoy some cookies um, but still be like social distance and safe about it because I obviously am not wanting to risk that with them I um, have an extra plate right there, and then these two for, I think, my aunt and cousins. My mom's going to try and drop those off. And then these are all leftovers, and same with these. I think I'll just end up bringing these with us to just kind of refill the plate. And I know you want one, but you can't have one. <gasps> Wait a second. You have your own gingerbread cookies. Yeah. Would you like one of those? There you go. Anyway, so finally finished. It's the next day, obviously. Um, took me a good like half hour to clean the countertop, but that's fine. They're all nice and clean now. I was just going to end the vlog here, but I actually got in a couple of packages that have been delayed for a little bit. 
and they are for a giveaway that I have coming up. So I thought I would do a little sneak peek of that. The giveaway will be over on my Instagram, but I'll of course kind of show you guys here on YouTube one that does go live and everything. But I wanted to give a little sneak peek of some items to get you excited for the giveaway. Um, I was going to do a holiday giveaway, but then everything got delayed because the post office is just a madhouse right now. So stuff started coming in a little late, so I'm thinking I will end up doing either an end of the year giveaway or a beginning of the year giveaway, depending on what comes in. I'm still waiting on one item, so it'll kind of determine that because I want everything to be in so I can take a picture of it and so you guys can just see everything there. Okay, so this is just a couple of the things that I have. Again, I'm still waiting on something, but first, the main thing is this Summer Fridays hydration set. Summer Fridays is one of my favorite brands, so this little holiday set includes the jet lag mask, the lip butter balm, and the vitamin C serum. I use all of these products pretty much every single day, and I just love them. So I thought this would be a perfect thing to give away, plus you get this adorable little pouch with it. Um, the next thing are these slip, sorry, I have Sharpie on my finger, um, so that's what that is. The next thing is this little slip hair scrunchie holiday set. I thought this was the cutest thing. I wear these scrunchies every single day, so I thought it'd be fun to give that away. You guys know I've worked with Ana Luisa in the past. They were nice enough to send over a couple of items that I picked out to include in the giveaway. I'm not gonna show what they are, so that'll be a little bit of a surprise for the giveaway, but they are super cute. I picked them out, and yeah, that was super nice of them to contribute to the giveaway. Next thing is the 5-Minute Journal. The company 5-Minute Journal was also very nice enough to contribute one of the journals. Um, you guys have seen me talk about this before. I love this journal. I thought this would be a really nice thing to have to start the year with. You can do a little bit more gratitude. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be like the perfect journal to start the new year with. So thank you to uh, the 5-Minute Journal Company for contributing that. That was super nice of them as well. So in here, this is going to be a little bit of a surprise. I'm going to wait to show you guys that when I announce the giveaway. And then this is my all-time favorite Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. You guys know I use this every single day. I love it so much and I wanted you guys to have it as well. So love that. These are the products. I'm still waiting on, I believe, one more thing. So yeah, a little sneak peek. I feel like I showed you guys pretty much everything, but still a little bit of a sneak peek. So I'm so excited to get the finalized stuff done with the giveaway so I can get that started and going for you guys. Just got a little bit delayed with all the shipping issues but that's okay it happens i'm not too worried about it yeah i think i'm just going to end the vlog here this is actually the end of vlogmas which is kind of sad but at the same time i'm a little relieved because i feel like everyone has just been kind of running out of ideas and things to do just because there's not a whole lot you can do right now with covid and everything plus i feel like for the viewers it's like really overwhelming with everyone uploading almost every single day so I feel like views aren't the same as they normally are but I'm really glad I did vlogmas or I did the 12 days of vlogmas and I challenged myself to do it and it was super fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be uploading one more video before the end of the year which is going to be a really fun video so that'll be up probably like a day or two before the end of the year but otherwise I will be taking just a little bit of a break between like Christmas and New Year time just to be with family, stuff like that. And then we'll get back on our regular scheduled uploading. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. I am obviously still posting on there a lot. And of course, there'll be the Instagram giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Vlogmas as a whole. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I believe by the time you are watching this, it is Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, so I hope you all have or had a wonderful Christmas and enjoyed it with family if you're able to get together. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.